hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's tutorial we are going to create this really nice and cool looking golden shiny text animation inside of hitfilm express so let's get started so from the template i'll choose 1080p at 60 frames per second you are free to choose your own template then click on start compositing once it opens up the first thing that we will do is we'll create our text so Select the text tool, you can press T key on your keyboard or you can just click on this icon and you can just click and hold and create a text box like this and then we can just type in our text so I'm just going to type in golden and let's just go to the text tab and we can just change the font style to I'm going to go with lobster and then I'm just going to click on this icon that says center alignment and then I'll just also increase the font size like that and then once you are satisfied with the text you can just uh, maybe we can just put this in the center like that and then we can just right click on this text layer we can click on make composite chart and we can just call this text and then click on ok okay so the reason we created this composite chart is because if we add layer point decided to change the text we can we can just change that and if we go back to our main composition you can see that our text has now been changed to our new gold text so I'm just gonna keep it as it is uh, and then let's move forward and now what we have to do is we have to download a file uh, I'll put the link in the description it's a reflection image so just simply drag it inside it from Express and we can just put it on top of this text composite shot and we can just uh, create a composite shot out of this as well so right click on it and click on make composite chart and let's just call this reflection comp click on ok and then uh, what we have to do is in the effects tab we have to search for the spherical warp uh, it's under warp uh, the reason we are applying this spherical warp is because let me just show you if I go to transform and create a position keyframe and then if I move forward to the end of this animation and if I try to change the position on the x-axis we can see that we have this empty area on the left side so uh, we want to completely fill in this area with this image and to do that uh, we will use the spherical warp so let's just reset this and apply the spherical warp on this let's go inside the spherical warp we can set the amount to zero and we can just create a keyframe at the first frame of our animation and then we can go forward in time or maybe at the end of this animation and we can change the position and move it to the right on the x-axis and you can see that as we are doing so uh, we don't have that empty space anymore and it's being completely filled in with the same image so that's the reason we applied this spherical warp so I'm just going to close this text comp and the reflection comp okay and then in our main composite shot the composite shot one let's just hide the text layer and then we can just search for the set mat effect and apply it on our reflection comp we can just expand the set mat we can set the source layer to text we can change the blend to subtract and also click on this invert checkbox so now as you can see our reflection is now inside this text okay and now um, as you can see that our text is looking a bit flat so what we can do to enhance this is we can uh, search for an effect called caustics we can apply it on the same reflection comp just make sure that this caustics effect is on top of the set mat and then we can just go into caustics we can set the go to height map and we can set that to the text I can see that now our text has a bit more depth in it and that's looking really cool so we can just change the wave height to something like um, 60 we can play around with the depth as well we can play around with the refractive index and you can just try to get a really cool reflection in our text so yeah that's something like that and then if I zoom in to the text you can see that we get the sharp edges on our text and uh, the way to fix this is we can just double click on our text composite and uh, we can just apply an effect called blur 
on this text we can go inside the text and we can set the radius to two pixels and you can go back to our main comp and you can see that our text is now looking uh, better than the what we had earlier okay so um yeah that's basically that's just about it that's how we can create this really cool reflective animation inside it film express but um as i promised we will be creating this uh golden text animation but if you want the chrome look you can just go to your text composite shot and we can just change the text to chrome and we can just go back and you can see the changes have taken place in our main animation so let's keep it uh golden and then we can just create a new grade layer in our main composite chart and we can just call this gold and then we can just in the effects tab search for the curves effect and apply it on this grade layer let's go to the controls tab and let's just open up the curves and then what we have to do is in the rgb channel we'll just lift that up like so we can go to the red channel and we can just crank that up as well crank up the green channel as well and then the blue channel will just bring it down like so and that way we'll get this really nice golden text in golden color in our text so yeah that's pretty much it that's how you can create this animation inside hit film express so if you still have any questions do let me know in the comments below other than that if this video was helpful please do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one